Netlist Templates. The Spice Language Netlist syntax is strictly defined. To help you with this, Altium Designer includes Netlist templates for all standard Spice component definitions. These are automatically loaded into the Sim Model Editor when the device type is selected. We'll see that in just a moment. The Sim Model Editor also includes a generic editor mode where the required Netlist syntax can be manually defined. We're going to begin by opening up a new project and we do that with File, New, Project, and then choose PCB Type. In this case, we're not going to be saving it, so the particular name uh, and location does not matter. We're going to add a schematic to it by right-clicking on the project and choosing Add New to Project Schematic. Now we're going to go to our Libraries panel, which you can access from the System Panel button down below, and we will open up the Simulation Sources Integrated Library. Within that library, we're going to look for the voltage source, which we used in the prior exercise. So click and drag to the schematic. So here we have our voltage source. And we're just going to use this as an example in terms of looking at the Netlist template syntax. We access the Sim Model Editor by first double-clicking on the component, which gets us to the component properties. Then in the model section, we'll see here that we've got the simulation VSRC listed below. So we can either right click and choose edit or just click the edit button since we have only one model shown here. In the model kind tab, which is, should be the default selected, make sure you have voltage source as the drop down and also make sure you have in the model subkind DC source selected. Now if we look down below, there are three sub tabs at the bottom here. The two that we're going to be using extensively in this lesson is the netlist template, which shows us the template and in a preview on the second tab, which in this case has only three entries at the moment. We'll be playing with these two tabs, comparing how that syntax uh, is altered with values for a, particular, uh, for a particular set of conditions, and we enter those parameters from the top tab called parameters. So for example, if we add a value of 10 and then click on the netlist preview, we'll see here that we've got the reference designator v question mark the first net associated with the first pin, the net, and these are placeholders since it's not part of the design, pin 2, and then the value of the component, uh, the DC value of 10 volt. If we now go in here and change the AC phase to, let's say, uh, 5, and then do a click on the template and back to the preview as a way of refreshing, you'll notice that we do not have additional values. And the reason for that is back in the template. The pound sign used for the conditional statement in pound AC magnitude, pipe AC at AC magnitude, declares that if the AC magnitude is not provided, then ignore both the conditional statement and any items listed thereafter. So if we go in here and give it an AC magnitude of 3, for example, and then click on Netlist Preview, you'll see here that not only is the AC magnitude of 3 appearing, but also the AC phase of 5. Now we're going to click on OK for both these dialogs, and we're going to re-enter the Sim Model Editor from the Component Properties dialog. And this time, we can right-click and choose Edit. And we're also going to change the model kind. Instead of Voltage Source, we're going to use General, and then the model subkind, Generic. Once we do that, you'll notice the Parameter tab now has a lot more fields that are accessible. Now, because this is the general generic editor, we can actually make changes to the template. For example, if I go in here and delete a simple space and then do a preview, you'll notice that the last two fields are now concatenated together without that white space. So it looks like 53 when in fact it is two different values, the AC magnitude of 5 and the AC phase of 3. So you need to make sure that the syntax is correct when you uh, type that in or make modifications. Now let's do a, a more meaningful modification like setting a default value. We do that by making the following changes. Tilde value, so if there is no value present, we will add a value of 5V. And if I click on the Netlist Preview, you'll see it uses the default value of 5V. However, if I go into Value, and give it an explicit value of 6V, and then do a refresh. You'll see the 6V now appears 
in the netlist.